That's exactly what that is. When you came to kill me long ago, I did just that. We were in the snow and all of a sudden, we were surrounded by water. That's my energy. You, of course, encountered the others and observed their elements through their energy, too. So then, what about my own energy? You're able to change your surroundings, really? Well, no. But something else happened. I don't know if it has something to do with that last particular timeline. Well, at least you don't even fight me anymore, but I hope it doesn't have to do with you not killing me. No, this is different. Everything about it is different. Okay, just start from where something went different. I was at the club. The fight pits. I took everyone down. Then there was that flash of red light. And that's when it happened? That's when it happened. So then describe what it did to your physical appearance. Or more importantly, what it was calling you to do. To fight. Yet at the same time, I was more in control of myself than I ever was before. Like reality was bending to my will. Okay. Well, you've seen my physical appearance change when you fought and killed me however many times you did before we became close friends. What you described just now? That sounds like a lot of power bestowed upon you, Yin. And you know, I gotta tell you. It can be pretty dangerous if you don't tame it, that power. That's what I thought at first, too. But here's what I didn't expect. Doing anything other than what it was willing me to. What I myself was willing me to, was blatantly proven to be wrong. It was letting me see for myself through these visions the right thing to do. Alright, well, I'll admit, without proper context, I can't exactly argue against that notion. Hold on, what do you mean? That I should just blindly follow along? That power? It's still with you. If it seemingly came from nowhere, it's with you at all times, I should know. And right now, it's letting you question it. It's allowing you to question it even though, deep down, you know that what you're tasked to do is very important. We just need to figure out what that is, what that could mean. I just... I don't know. Yin, the least you could do is trust in yourself, in this case. More than some outside authority, especially if you're honest with yourself. Kuroki, I'm not perfect. No one is, Yin. Least of all the scumbags that run society. God, you should know this by now. I mean, look at what you're willing to do for others. You cleaned up your neighborhood. Even after your crusade, you came back and did what was right. I'm telling you, there's a purpose for what happened to you. There's always purpose. As if I don't have enough purpose already. Exactly, Yin. That's just it. You've opened my eyes to something I never would have thought to be our reality. Now look at what we have to do. We don't know what's really out there. 
We're just beginning to scratch the surface. Yeah, and I guess there's only so much crime I can fight at the surface level, where hordes of wrongdoings are seemingly endless. Unless I get to the root of the problem, there's always going to be another drug lab. Did that power ever lead you to the root of the problem? It led me to a performative social organization. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Alright, you stay your ass right there, Halloween. <laughs> Fucking hold it still. <laughs> Your fear of this power is unnecessary, bringer of balance. Your will is free. Your will is your own. I went after a politician. Jin Fang again? I used to like her at first, but the more I learned about her supposed philanthropy, the less genuine she seemed to me, to be honest. Actually, she was already dead by this time. Her puppet masters took over the tower, and they were in the process of converting her organization into something far worse than it already was. Hold on, we gotta back up a minute. First off, why were you at the club again? I knew that I had to go through another crusade. Something in me was calling me there. When Sean's energy converted my surroundings, that's when I gained that power. After I killed him, that's when I texted you. So that leaves Yang then. That's gotta be who you're after again for whatever reason it's calling you to him. Seems that way. Another thing I know is it isn't calling me to hunt you. I mean... I've always sensed the change in you ever since I first killed you. I always knew you could see it too when, well, when the both of us thought it was too late. I'm glad I came back for you to give you another chance. And I'm forever grateful for that, dear friend. You're a wonderful human being. Don't ever forget that. Hey, I've still got my flaws, but I appreciate that. I'm also honored to fight alongside you. That honor is mutual. You have no idea. So, what now? If it's calling you to Yang, you go to Yang. You'll know the right thing to do. You'll probably get vilified for it, but... Well, those visions. This power can really sniff out some sick people who appear to be decent at the surface. Especially if they're connected to Yang. It told me that confronting Yang alone wasn't enough. I was tasked with hunting down his followers. Some of society's worst who were learning skills they don't deserve. Not all can be saved, dear bringer of balance. The choice is yours to save those that can be and sees the essence of those who struggle to be.
the instructor was a disciple, so I went after the followers of Flame. I could swear their location was being torn apart in a way I couldn't explain. Time and space itself was seeming to deteriorate before I took everyone down. <laughs> Yang is hiding something. This Yang. He'll speak as if I have the pendant on me. If time bends in a way that it does appear at my side and he takes it from me, I'll know what to do. I just don't know why yet. I keep having visions of the events that are about to take place. Now that's something I don't think I can explain. I've had visions myself, just not at the level of detail you're explaining, which is kind of vague at the same time, but... Just know that what you need to do can't be stopped. I'm starting to think that for all our sakes, it's best if everyone stays out of the way. He means to break your spirit through his own misunderstandings. His weaknesses are yours to exploit. Yang, you know why I'm here and your worthless, pathetic dreams of utopia will never make it past these walls. Time has passed since the days I trained you. How touching. We were family. At least, that's what I believed. But then, during my darkest days, your father revealed his true self. He never cared about us. He cast me out. He abandoned us. Is that how I'm supposed to see it? Tell me, what would you do to save the people you love from the inevitable? Wouldn't you cross every line? Break every rule? And here you are, a slave to your perceived remedies to reality. Wouldn't you challenge death itself? Death? Funny thing about death, you're looking at him right now. I'm here to accept your challenge when you're done lecturing me. You want revenge, little brother? It isn't just about vengeance anymore. Show me.
And you're still that same child I knew. Helpless. Like the night I killed your father. You're here, in front of me, only because of this pendant. But what if I take it from you? Will you fear death once again? Oh, careful, Yang. Those are brave words for actions I expect. Torment is mine to inflict upon you until you let go of the lie you cling to. All will leave your kind behind until you relinquish your attempted control upon them. Too many hypocritical decisions made by Yang, and he became an untamed monster through gifts that were never his to take. All because he projected that greed onto someone else that actually proved themselves worthy of possessing what he desired. He sought to lure you in and take it from you. To tell you to your face that you were unworthy, he preaches spiritual fulfillment, forcing you to redistribute everything you've earned completely on your own, as if that's going to fix the world and society would magically flourish. He even fears your power, though that's obviously through his own misunderstanding of it. This thing that's been given to you is a responsibility, much like wealth. You owe no one else anything other than your will to do what's right with it. It isn't something you should share with people you don't trust. It was bestowed upon you as you were on your crusade without you even asking for it. Knowing that, don't let anyone ever fool you into believing otherwise, Yin. You may not want this power, but the rest of us need you to have it. Besides, I'm already seeing the tides turning because of your actions. All right, all right. If all logic points to me having this responsibility, I'll step up. God, I just wanted to live a normal life, though. What happened to our world, Kuroki? I used to be the one asking you that, but you know... Just to jog your memory, it was never what we were taught it was. We were always in a war because of that, but most, if not all of us, were unaware until recently, I suppose. A lot of people still need to wake up, but we're getting there. For the time being, we'll just do what we can in this fight. Other than that, we focus on ourselves becoming what we seek throughout this life. And if you ask me, you're doing just fine, Yin. You're doing just fine. I appreciate that, Kuroki. Maybe that's what I need to hear right now. I won't take that for granted. Anytime, Yin. Anytime. 
through a hidden crusade. This will determine if certain individuals can truly be saved. Some gained their wealth, power, notoriety, or other luxuries through connections to organizations that have ruled over his people since the birth of recent civilization. Anyone thriving in a significant manner without swearing allegiance to their outright tainted cause is made to be their enemy. I've granted him this power because I know he will never kneel to them. They will vilify him, accuse him of what they're guilty of. In the end, he will emerge victorious and give his people a chance to live in their true purpose. <laughs>